So here we have a NST spark gap setup. This video was to show you use the name um, Awesome Lightning on how to hook up a neon transformer to a capacitor bank and into a spark gap so that way you can test to make sure that your spark gap is working. I have a Variac for the NST 12 kilovolt 60 milliamp neon sign transformer, a capacitor bank which then goes to the spark gap. The uh, wires, this is one of the wires that goes to this leg of the capacitor bank which then goes to the spark gap. And then we have the other leg that goes to this side of the capacitor bank and then to this side of the spark gap. So everything from the spark gap, the capacitor bank, and the neon transformer is all in parallel. And if you want to know, yes, it is very cold out here. So we start by slowly turning the Variac, which I know Awesome Lightning doesn't have a Variac, but in your case, when you first turn on the neon sign transformer, it would just spark. Here, it's going to start sparking whenever I get to the right voltage. So we just slowly start turning it. Sparking at about 50 volts. So that's basically how you test a neon transformer to make sure that your spark gap is working. So this time we have very exalted circuit. We have our switch box connected, so we have full power to the neon transformer to the spark gap. We have the lights off to show how bright the spark is, and then I have earmuffs on because it's extremely loud. The spark gap is about one centimeter, and it should start sparking when we turn it on. Let's step a little ways away and show you what it can do. Try to aim it. That's what it will do when you plug in your neon transformer and have capacitors connected to it. Frequency of it switches. This time I have it spaced a little bit more. So it's going to be louder but less frequent. Let's show you what this does now. And now we have it about two millimeters or so apart. Same thing. So, yep, that's how you basically do it.